So I took the extra dodge so that we can sacrifice dodge on any item that, like, offers it to us. And so um, if and when we find a hoodie, it's really good. We basically have to roll to. Oh, oh, what's this? What is this? Hello, everyone. Jeff here and welcome back to Brotato. We're going to be doing some more GMO today. And I think today's the last day we're going to be doing challenges on GMO for a bit. And then we're going to switch to either new characters or go back to vanilla, depending on um, comments. So if you want to see more new modded characters or you want to go back to vanilla and do some like tip and guide and like this is how you beat Danger 5 playthroughs on uh, all the normal characters, let me know in the comments. But um, we're going to be unlocking the item for my buddy Elusive Ghost, which is a brawler and ghost, obviously. And we're going to use the polter limb. Now, the polter limb is 40% uh, melee scaling, kind of low, and then 5% just percent damage scaling. So we get double percent damage scaling, which is kind of nice. And it attacks very fast because we're brawler and and one HP regen for every 32 enemies you kill with this weapon. That's a lot, my friends. That's a lot. Um, also with Brawler, of course, attack speed, 50% attack speed on arm, start with fist, 15% dodge, minus 50 range, minus 50 range damage. We don't care about that. And ghost dodge caps 90. Of course, we start with 48% dodge and ethereal weapons damage is up by 10. Uh, Polter limb is ethereal. Uh, yeah. This is all good, and then the GMO debuff, whatever, we'll deal with that how we may. Um, that said, if you do want to see more GMO, let me know. I just think um, we've been doing it for quite a while, and there's quite a lot of GMO content on YouTube, so maybe it's time to mix it up a little bit. I have the burps. My apologies. Um, let's take harvesting first. I think so. Obviously, we just want bolter limbs, right? As many as we can get. Yeah. Yeah, three seems pretty good. And I guess what is our like plan here? A lot of max HP. Well, uh, we barely even need dodge. It looks like. Um, I don't know. And then damage. I guess should be fine. Maybe a little bit of range. I love how Polter Limb is just kind of like this toddler smash attack. Like if you've ever seen a video of like a four or five year old fighting, you know that they don't punch. They like club. That's exactly what's happening here. And I kind of love it. Hopefully I didn't just bump my mic and turn it off. No, it seems, seems to still be on. That's nice. All right, we'll take lemonade. That's fine. We're going to be using that. I don't think we need any of this. Let's just take the luck for better level ups later. Polter limb, obviously. Um, and I'm going to keep rolling for polter limb. Yeah, yeah, we're just all in. All in on the polter limb. We'll take the lumberjack shirt. OK, this is pretty, pretty good. I guess we'll take more enemies too. Um, 32 enemies to get an HP regen up. That's a lot. Um, it's going to be very hard to actually get that early on. I think. Hmm. I guess the priority is just upgrading Bolter Limb, right? Because the 32 number has to improve, right? Uh, I'm not sure what it scales to on blue and higher tiers, but there's no way it stays at 32. If that's the case, we need a lot of like mice and gentle aliens. Um, let's take harvesting. I mean, not much to think about there. We take 30 range, whatever. All right, so we do want alien worm for sure. Max HP is kind of important here just because. Um, we do have minus 100 armor, so we're going to get hit for a lot when we get hit. Now, we're not going to hit a lot for sure. It, I mean, it's very reasonable we go through this run and never get touched but um when we do get touched i want it to be like a good touch and like a, a touch we can handle and not the bad touch um the bloodhound gang wrote a whole song about it and you don't want the bad touch you want 
You want the good, friendly touch. Not the Kevin Spacey touch. That's not the one you want. Do we want attack speed here? Probably, right? Or eight harvesting this early again? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's see what um, Ultra Limb 2. It's every 29 enemies. The scaling goes up. Okay, so crit doesn't really matter either. I, I didn't mention that. It's, our crit multiplier is 1.25, and that's um, not really worth it. Hello. Hello, Polter Limb. Purple. I think glasses. Uh, I'm just going to save. That is a... That is a very early purple Polter Limb. Purple Polter Limb. That's a hard thing to say. Um... Yeah, I think this this seems strong. This seems a lot easier than the chunky ghost run we did yesterday. And I, a lot of that's probably because Polterlim is like built for this character, but whatever. That That's the whole point of the mod, right? You get one thing that was challenging and now we get something that's a little more fun and relaxed. I assume we're going to be completely unstoppable by the end. And my eyebrow is itching for some reason. Um, I'm honestly... Nah, we don't need range again, do we? No. Okay, we have 90% dodge. Um, which is kind of funny. Let's take more harvesting, why not? Okay, Polter Limb. Purple. Sign me up. Uh, um, I guess we could take a... They already attack so fast. I guess we take defective steroids. Definitely want another Polter Limb, and then we'll get, take a Broken Mouth. We can basically take infinite Broken Mouths because our HP regen is going to go up uh, naturally, especially like when we once we get to Wave 9. That's when um, this should really pop off. But HP regen doesn't do any good if you ha don't have any HP to take a hit, so there's that. We'll say having 90, like, base... Ah, just kind of silly. Relatively strong um, combination of effects going on here without any items. Get us a few tardigrades and it's all over. Because tardigrade goes first. Um, I would like Little Muscly Dude. This is why we should have taken range before. Or just take 12% damage. I mean... Damage is good, and our weapons scale off of damage for some ridiculous reason. Let's take Alien Tongue. Black Belt. It's XP gain, and then... Oh, I kind of wanted the Lost Duck. I'm still going to take it. You may have noticed my face in the corner. Um, <laughs> unlike my other videos, uh, if you hadn't already. It's something I'm trying out. Hello, by the way. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, I know I tried it before. I got some decent feedback. Some people like it, some people didn't. But I also was like in the top right. And I think the image was a little bit larger. So yeah, my whole thing is like, the channel is called Gaming with Jeff. And if I'm not showing my face, this kind of loses a little bit of the personality, I think. Also this way, when I crack dick jokes, you can see me laughing, and I think there's a little bit of relatability there. Um, meanwhile, we're dominating the game right now. I would like a sad tomato, yes. I think that was the right choice. I'll take max HP. I will take... Ooh. We have range and attack speed. Let me attack speed first. Ultra limb... Glass cannon? Alright. Luck. And luck. Alright, that's pretty good. Now we're hitting a little bit harder. Smash. Ghost smash. I didn't mention it before. This is um, my buddy Elusive Ghost. Another great Rotato YouTuber. Uh, this is the combination that unlocks his item which is um, a pretty ridiculous item from what I remember. I can't 
exactly remember the stats on it. He definitely showed me and it's definitely good, but I have the memory of a small child and as such, I could not tell you a single thing it does, except that I know it's dodge related because of the ghost thing and all, right? But that's not because of my memory, that's just because of logic. Oh well. Um, armor does nothing for us. None of these things help. 12% damage, yes, yes, good. Um, how much HP regen have we gotten off of these? It does not show, this one doesn't track. We're at 21, it seems like we've done well. Um, Tyler, not today. A polter limb, a goat skull. Yeah, we're ignoring crit, so that's good. Snail's really good. Um, we don't need dodge, we're already capped. Okay. Wave nine, time to, um, time to really feast on the enemies here. We got hit. Well, there goes the hitless run, the 90% dodge hitless run. Our damage is still a little bit low. I guess it's because the item itself has very low, or the weapon has pretty low damage scaling. Like, in general. Although, I imagine it's going to become pretty good as we continue. Also, I never noticed this until just now, but the glass cannon on the forehead of this character makes him kind of look like a unicorn. And I'm down with that. So we're going to casual like 540. That's not bad. No items though. I, I would take dodge, but... But why? Take movement speed, percent damage. 10 harvesting on wave 10, so that's like 100, but then scaling and it's better than rerolling, I guess. Um, I don't want XP down is the problem. I do like more enemies. I'm just gonna take alien eyes. Um, a polter limb. A polter limb. I'm gonna keep taking polter limbs, that's my strategy. Adrenaline. Oh, now just unkillable. Uh, I'm gonna take a polter limb first and then lock. Uh, you know, what? then I'm gonna take recycling machine and I'm gonna lock both of these. That seems like a fair way to go. What's our healing at? Uh, 37 now. Okay, yeah, wave nine was pretty decent to us, I'd say. I know adrenaline doesn't technically increase our dodge. But the five healing is kind of nice. It's quite impactful. And then I don't even remember what the other item was. I, I locked it, but I honestly can't remember. I, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The other item, great. Fantastic, best item in the game, I think. Best I best item for me, good, good item. Very good, I'm very curious to see what it is right now. Struggling. <laughs> Another 500 waves, pretty good. I will sell a medical turret, we just, we just don't need it. Me percent damage, please, thank you. Alien eyes, yes, alien eyes. That, we were super invested in alien eyes. Much great. Because now we have two alien eyes. I'll take a coupon. It's early. Um. No. Yes. Take out. Yeah, take out. Let's do take out. Alien eyes. Best item in the game. Uh. Maybe not, but um. It's definitely useful for endless. Um. Uh, there is for sure an endless build that revolves. I, we almost got killed. Uh, there's for sure an endless build that revol revolves around um, padding as much money as you can get and as many alien eyes as you can get, and then just like 
staying away from enemies since an endless basically it'll get to a point where they're just gonna kill you um, unless you dodge or you have tardigrade and then you need like alien eyes to be your main source of damage so not main source of damage but it it plus like potato throw thrower because you scale your damage with hp it's a thing if you haven't tried it mm, let's go and take range and then oh all the enemies give me give me um wheat is like fine ish i'm just gonna roll again older limb yeah okay well we're doing 69 damage with our legendary one not amazing but it should be enough we get rhino boy here i successfully didn't dodge his first uh, attack our damage isn't super high that is what i'll say we've already been hit but as long as any time we get hit we immediately run for safety we're okay because we have an un uh a ridiculous amount of healing i'm gonna, I'm gonna flee for a moment we're not in any real rush to uh, die here. Okay. Yeah, like that could have, that could have gone worse. We definitely got hit a few times. Not great, but we don't do a ton of damage, so that's fair. We're we're working on it. Okay, it's part of the process. Meanwhile, uh, pencil, no wheelbarrow. Sure. I have never seen a worse item drop for any character. This is like that scene from Billy Madison where he gives a speech and the teacher tells him that it is the worst thing anyone's ever seen and may God have mercy on his soul. That That's what just happened in um, game form. What is this engineering stuff? I just have damage. You know what? I'm gonna take the dodge. I'm gonna... I'm going to way over dodge right now. We're going to see what happens. We also have 65 HP regen after that. Let's take alien magic and Cyclops worm. Roll. Roll baby with the beard. No, thanks. Glass cannon. Yes. I'm going to leave CRISPR alone like I always do because it's just overpriced in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. Like I like the XP gain, but I don't. I don't want to spend like double the price of another legendary on it. That's my feedback um, <laughs> for the mod. Crisper's too expensive. I can't justify buying it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's that good, but give me like two bean teachers instead. Seems better. Um, we're going to have a lot of HP regen here soon. We have 67 HP, so if we can get two more HP only and just have a 69 HP, no, that's not going to happen because we're going to have, we're going to get HP from leveling up. Oh, well. Oh, well. Meme dreams are dead, at least for that one. Really, we need to be focusing on damage here. We don't do nearly enough. So I took the extra dodge so that we can... Sacrifice dodge on any item that like offers it to us, and so um, if and when we find a hoodie, it's really good, right? Like that's the plan. Um, I would like oh melee mastery is perfect because this scales with fifty percent melee damage, so that's like not terrible. I mean that ended up giving us seven because of all our percent damage. Gummy berserker too. Another poker limb and a tree. That's fine. We just save. I think we'll be all right here. Who, who we got? Um, this is my least favorite wave 14. Out of all wave 14s. We could very easily die here. We have no range. We have no AOE. 
Um, we don't have much damage. All we really have is a ton of healing and a ton of dodge. I guess we have a decent amount of damage now, but um, there's going to be so many enemies attacking us here. Yeah, it is frightening. This, this wave I actually have to kind of concentrate on. Um, and this goes with basically every character, is that is my worst wave, is Monk pl plus wave 14. This is just um, a complete bullshit level of enemies right now. Try not to get two unlucky rolls. We basically have to roll two. Oh, oh, oh what's this? What is this? Who would have thought I would find that? Um, I'm going to combine that, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this, and I'll roll again because we're feeling feisty. Oh, silver bullet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, our amazing decision earlier was rewarded. Uh, I'm the greatest and most humble, as I have mentioned before. <laughs> what an absurd thing to find. Now we are like an extremely angry toddler. Just straight up windmill arms. Lisa? Bart? I'm having, uh, having a stroke here. Was it Lisa or Bart? who did the windmill arms when they're walking into each other in that classic episode of The Simpsons. Hmm. Maybe it was both of them. Maybe that's why I'm struggling. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. I will take eight melee damage, I think. Over percent damage. That seems a little bit better. Holy moly. They're literally my shades have appeared. 3% attack speed, you take a damage. I mean, we're healing 1 HP every tenth of a second. Like... Okay. Okay, over oh, I paused too. Yeah. Yeah, this run's going... This gun... This run's going somewhere. Okay, now we're just literally Bart and Lisa combined. Forget everything I said before. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. This is, this is peak potato right now. Angry toddler. I'm gonna check our attack speed when there's like five seconds left in the wave, just cause I'm curious. I suspect it's going to be a lot. <laughs> And remember, whatever it is, it's plus 50% because of Brawler. So, yeah, this is this is a great time. Ghost Smash. Um, okay, we're at 403% attack speed. 403. We got hit once. What? So unlucky. We should probably pick up some range if we can find it, but I will just take 16% more damage first. A polter limb. Um, um, anything? Flat donation? No, let's let's not. Let's not. Oh, rip and tear is rip and tear is feisty. Rip and tear plus explosive shells. You know, that's not the worst combination, but we're not doing it. Okay. So, it's Mr. Chef, and he is doomed. Oh, he got one attack before he transitioned to phase two, and then two before phase three, and then he died. Well, it's been a rough day for our chef friend, but he must retire as Mr. Ramsey has found him unsuitable for the kitchen. Truly, this is the greatest run of potato. This is, this is... I, 
I don't know what else to say. I, I actually tried to die there. <laughs> I got hit and immediately ran into another bullet. If we had rolled a two, like assuming we're counting D20s here. If I had rolled a one or a two on that, there is a distinct possibility of us dying. Oh, Sif's Relic. Yeah. Sure. Uh, melee damage. Yep. Alien magic. I will take it again. I'm not going to take Weird Ghost because we do have my shades and that is a combo that kills you. Although I think we would out heal it. Since we heal every 0 0.07 seconds, but I am having too good a run to try that right now. More polter limbs. Yes, please. Okay. Now we pick up every material that comes to us. And we continue to smash. I guess we should. I guess percent damage is what we want now. I'm not really sure. We're we're at 91 HP, so that's pretty safe, I would say. With 90% dodge. And ripost and adrenaline. Yeah, I think we could pretty safely just take damage from here on out and ow, got sniped. I like how earlier I said I'm, we might not get touched, but we've been we've been bad touched multiple times. Multiple times, like per wave. It's unbelievable. Um, I mean, we already have negative crit chance, so this is just. 5% speed, but I kind of would just rather take the recycling, uh, the money from recycling. Banner for sure. I will take alien eyes. I will take another riposte. Um, roll once. Not really. Yeah, we'll just save. Uh, HP regen. What? Oh, we're at 166. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent. You know, we have my item. We have the best item in the game. Uh, is Hoodie the best item in the game still? It's probably Bloody Hand, let's be honest. Or Anvil. We have a top three item in the game. We're doing things. Wave 19, we're already, well, I guess we saved a lot of money, so we haven't specifically gotten, you know, all 700 of our materials currently on this wave, but it's pretty good. Took a lot of damage just now. 894, give me that cute monkey. Just like the Skies and Bloodhound Gang dressed up in, in that classic music video. Um... If you haven't seen it, go watch The Bad Touch by the Bloodhound Gang on YouTube. It is it is something to see. We're going to take Rip and Tear. It's going to help with the AoE. We're going to take a Polter Limb. We're going to take we're going to click on this really hard and realize that we can't buy it. Um Bullet Time. Actually, Bullet Time's not terrible. Extra stomach, where were you? Um, this build is not capable of doing literally anything in Endless, by the way. We will die on like wave 40 very quickly if we even made it to that. Really? Really tease me with this big old polter limb? I want range up somewhere. This is range down. Stop it. And I can't even afford the glasses. How awful. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. We got nothing on that wave, basically. Angry toddler mode activate. He's transformed. I will now hunt him down. He's dead. Out. Out. Thankfully, we aren't one shot here, but it's awfully close. And busting makes me feel good. That is the achievement name for 
my buddy's um my buddy's item it is busting it makes me feel good so um make sure if you watch his videos to ridicule him immensely for that uh first of all uh secondly let's look at his item uh dodge is capped at five percent i know that's wrong that's actually dodge is increased by five percent it's just a typo i saw that mentioned um so your max dodge is 95 percent on ghost or 65% on a regular character, which is really good. And then 2% lifesteal for every dodge you have, which is really good. Also goes quite good with um, some other items like hoodie. And then 20% of your, wait, 20% of your lifesteal is converted into dodge at the end of a wave. I'm sorry. Okay, so you just have like a never ending pool of dodge and lifesteal. That's dumb. What a good item. Uh, also, the plug is for his YouTube channel, which is right there, which I, I've got a, the link to his on my main page if you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, this was a degenerate run full of gross things. And to be honest, we really only had two. We only had one legendary like Sif's is extra. This was 100 percent Holter limbs, hoodie. Um, oh, and my glasses They're Let's be honest, they're like. Jeff's shades are legit a tier five item when tier five and tier six get added to the game, which I think they're going to. These things are tier five. Get out of here, elusive ghost. Get into my car. Jeff shades. Fantastic. Yeah, these are some dumb stats. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think about the camera in the bottom corner. Um, and let me know if you want to see more GMO. If you want me to go back to vanilla and do some like tutorial like this is how you beat the game runs or if you just want to see new characters i know elemento probably has like 70 at the rate that they go since the last time i checked it out but anyways appreciate y'all thanks for watching hope to see you next time have a great day bye